let's go, let's go. Whoa, whoa, AI everywhere, whoa. Oh my god, the AI is crashing like crazy. So what else do we have around? It is springtime, and because it's springtime, there's a couple of these events going on. There's like the Edinburgh City Sprint, which is quite cool. There's the ho ho Holly Rod Park Trail. Don't know what that is, but it's just rally monsters. You can see their timed events because there's a little clock in the top left-hand corner of the logo. Again, I don't really know what they are for. I've never done one of them. But uh, maybe we give one of those a try. But I kind of want to come up here and do this. The world's fastest rentals. That is actually how you buy a business in Forza Horizon 4. Did I say it's spring? I meant autumn. I meant autumn. Sorry, it's fall. So yeah, I want to start up my car rental business. Again, no idea what this is. Last episode, we went to do the drifting stuff. Let's see how we can buy a business. So businesses, before I actually click on this, I'll show you this. Um, when you go to your message center in Forza Horizon 4, you, you have your normal things like your DLC, your news, daily payouts, gifts, auction house, all of that stuff. But you've also got business payouts because you can own businesses in this game and businesses will earn you income. You'll be finding that money in there. So it's, a, it's obviously a thing you want to do quite early on in the game because it will just be earning you money all of the time. But now let's I know see. that this investment might look like a lot, but it's worth it. Trust me. Every business you buy will give you a daily payout of their earnings, so there's a nice incentive for you. Okay. This is the perfect location, yeah? It's gonna make us a mint. I've got a waiting list of clients already, but I think we should try out all the cars first. Don't you agree? I like your I like your thinking, Joel. Or J J J. We spend a hundred thousand credits, but then we purchase our first business. You can see it says daily credit payout. Uh, I don't know how much we get paid per day, but. We'll see, we'll take the business. Good decision, good decision. You and me, we're gonna show everyone what World's Fastest really means. Okay, I like the idea. So let's go solo and see what we have to do. Again, I've never done this before. I have no idea what we're about to do. We've got the premises, I've got the contacts, and you've got, well, you've got a few minutes to kill before our first client arrives. 2013 Lamborghini Venino. Take the keys and show Horizon what it can do. I want them all talking about us. I want the punters to know that when we say world's fastest, we mean it. We're renting out a Lamborghini Veneno? Just a quick run out to Glen Rannick. Oh, and our first client's on the way, remember? Better step on it. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to drop the car off to the client. Okay, but, but I have a bigger question. How much does it cost to rent a Lamborghini Veneno for a day? Like, you know how expensive that would be? It's one of the rarest cars in the world. And we're just like, oh, here you go. Got it. Don't worry. So this is 2.7 miles away. We've got two minutes to get there. We're racing time to deliver the car for the client. Where are we going? Around the roundabout. Straight ahead. I could have gone over the middle. Watch out. Good thing we don't have damage. It's not a damage mission right now. Okay, good. I, I do see what they mean, though, by, by the world's fastest rentals. This is... Okay, well, he's dead. This is no slouch. Somebody says, well, it is a pretty good deal. You bought the whole business for 100k and you get access to a veneno. It's true. It's a good point. I don't even know how much money we're getting per day with this. Like, I, I don't know what's happening with these businesses, but we own a business now. We have to deliver this car to a client. First person. There you go. Good old Lamborghini interior. There's stuff everywhere. It looks like you're driving a plane. Driving a plane? Flying a plane. Anyways, pretty simple nice mission. Nice work. Good job. I'll have it picked up and toweled off. And you better vanish before the client sees you. Call me when you're ready for the next one, yeah? Wait, I get one I'm star. Going... So I get 13k for that. I get a measly 2,500 influence. So I assume these missions are based on time. Not based on, like... I guess that's the only thing you can base them off of is time. Let me see. So if I go solo and then I click select chapter, the same way as the drift stuff, yeah, it's, it says, it, it see, you can see the time requirements for the different stars. So this one, I need to hit 205 miles an hour. Koenigsegg 1-1. One, one. one horsepower for every kilo it weighs. Only the Swedish could come up with something so simple and so completely wild. Where am I going? I'm is going to nice Bambra Castle. There where you I need to reach really 100 miles an hour minimum. But it said if I do 200 miles an hour past the speed trap, then I'll get three stars. Well, I'm in a cone exec one to one. It shouldn't be the hardest thing to do. Oh, and the client's coming in early, so sorry about the glare. Okay, I'm just saying, car rental companies could be late. I'm sure they would appreciate their car gets there on time, 
or on 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 one piece rather than rolling down a cliff where's the speed trap by the way oh that's the speed trap wait that was the speed trap wait the destination is all the way up here though tight through this zone yeah show him where that thing sticks to the road at speed yeah i'm sure he's definitely going to be impressed with this driving where's the speed camera like i'm trying to like look on the side of the road for a goddamn speed camera i'm just skipping across the landscape we got to do 200 is this the is this the speed camera all the way up here i think this might be it we have to do 205 miles an hour past it then doing 220 it is there we go drove the world's first mega car how do you feel <laughs> check back with me soon i think i might get a ferrari in i'm good with ferraris man i'm just saying who can rent a koenigsegg one-to-one -one? like aren't there only like five of them in the world are there like seven you know how much that would cost like you might as well just buy one at that point renting one would be stupid there's more than that there's eight hey anyways we 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 passed our level one for the car ownership thing that's good there were seven but one owner crashed it around the ring i see hey my barn finds ready thank you alex much appreciated all right let's do another uh let's do another mission here i have a feeling it's gonna be like Oh, I keep doing all these missions and I'll get more money at the payout. I don't know yet. So this next one's a Ferrari FXXK here. You can take a look. Gives you like a little thing. If we do it in a minute and 35 seconds, we're good. Remember I said I'd get Ferrari in? I thought you could duck out for a drive in the country. You know, see how fast it goes. And it's the 2014 FXXK, so probably pretty fast. Yeah, you don't say, buddy. It's just one of the world's fastest car. I mean... I guess it's true that we are doing world's fastest rentals. So, I need to stay above 110 miles an hour to get to the destination. If I don't, it starts a countdown timer and immediately starts counting down the time. Now, if I do this in a minute and 25 seconds, it said, I get three stars, which is good for influence leveling up and all of that stuff. So, uh, you know, let's, let's push. Let's try to not ruin the Ferrari either. We've, uh, we've not been driving super well today i will be honest let's slow down for the corner try to keep it on the circuit or i mean the road as much as possible i forget that i'm driving cars to clients with this we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good yes no no come on come on come on come on come on come on okay we're good we're good we're good we're back over the speed that's a really cool thing i like how it's like you need to stay over the speed or no you do not get this that's really cool. All right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Come on, Ferrari. Oh, no. No. I don't know how... How? That's probably going to be two stars. Is. Knew you could do it. Now relax, breathe, and call me when you're ready for the next client. I'll, I'll deliver the next one soon, man. Don't worry. We get second place. Or, or two stars, I should be saying. We get some good money from these, though. Like, the influence isn't bad either. We can definitely go through these again and try to get three stars on. I'm thinking, though, the more of these we do, the more money we'll get from, like, doing the barn finds. Or, no, what am I saying, doing the barn finds? Doing from our daily payout. It, it, it will be good to keep that up. Anyways, we got a wheel spin somewhere there. I wasn't actually paying attention. Hell yes! 160k. Boys, we are over a million credits in Forza Horizon 4 for the very first time hell yes my wheel spin luck is finally turning around there's over a hundred members in the club already welcome to the ar12 life there is ar12 gaming 4 as well i'm just saying you can join do we want to go do one more world's fastest rental this is a zenvo st1 and again it's like that koenigsegg one we have to do 205 miles an hour past the speed trap i'm just saying if a client saw a car doing 200 miles an hour the car that they're about to pay money for they would shit this themselves. This next client of mine is Danish. Apparently they heard about our adventure with a Swedish Koenigsegg. And the Danes don't like to be out down on the road any more than they do on the football pitch. So, here's your next ride. You know how it works. Take the keys and go and have some fun. I like this. I like this a lot. It's a very good way to get XP and, and money and all of that. It's, it's, it's nice. So, there. beat the speed target. 200 miles an hour, 205 miles an hour was our three-star goal. This has not started off well. The Zenvo is a bitch to drive. I don't know why I'm driving this in the rain. Like, we just say, nah, we'll give it to you tomorrow instead. It's raining. No car for you. Okay, the speed trap, I see it. It's on my map. It's up ahead. 
Need to get gunning, 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 gunning. 200 miles an hour. Look at this straight line. Hell yes. Oh my god, it's actually not that fast. The Zenvo is not that fast. There's a traffic car in the way. No. Okay, no, 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 no. I refuse. I refuse. All right, come on, come on, come on. 205. That's actually 210. Well played. Three stars. Good stuff. Don't tell me. All right, so and we get some very good clients. influence from what that. I think did. we... What, what did we win for that one? A wheel yeah. spin? Yeah. Up. Boys, you actually get stupid amounts of XP from doing these. You don't earn that much money. Like, look at that. Like, that's 11,000 credits. That's not the best at all. Like, for the amount of stuff that we had to do and the, like, the target we had to hit. The influence, though. 7,000 for doing that. Hey, look at that. World's fastest rental level 4. I assume that will give us some more money. Uh, for those payouts. I'm not sure though. We're well on our way to level 38 though. The taxi job will be fun I don't know where the taxi job is. I know that there's there's something in the works with the taxi job That's enough of the world's fastest rentals though We need to keep banging in and making some more money So as I was saying before it is spring and I want to go do some of these timed events So we've got this one down here. It's the Edinburgh city sprint. It is only available. Wait, why, why do I keep saying spring? I don't know why I keep saying spring it's autumn. It's only available in the autumn. So, uh, let's go do this event. Let's try this mission. This is the Edinburgh City Spring. Okay. Hey, Sausage. <laughs> Great to see you've come down to check out your first seasonal championship. We've added some challenges to mix things up a bit. Can't make it too easy for you, right? Okay. So, I have, I have challenges for this. Horizon Seasonal Event. Place third against average driver tars. I get 5,000 credits. Place first against highly skilled driver tars. I get a wheel spin. Placed first against expert driver tars, I get super wheel spin. I am using the Aston Martin DB5. This is Skyfall. I've been looking forward to this autumn championship for ages. Oh no, it's a championship. Wait, and you don't give me the car? I have to go buy the DB5. Oh, it's free. Wait, it's a James Bond one for free. Oh my God, this really is. Oh, this is so cool. So we're not doing this on wait. So it said expert difficulty. I'm actually doing it on unbeatable We only need to do it on that. Eh, I'll make it pro. Oh my god. It's a bunch of Aston Martins Wait, so does anything happen with this? Oh my god. Look at the wheels. Oh That looks scary <laughs> You watch out for sidewalk pedestrians because if you hit them they will not have feet anymore All right coming through coming through You've got places to be. Now, this is much easier than the difficulty I was on before. So, I shouldn't have a problem with this. I hope- Bro, stop trying to pop my tire! It's Raymond! You bitch! Full-on put his Bodicer wheel attachment straight into my tire! It's always Raymond! Always! So, this is our first championship. I haven't even done a championship in this game. Everything so far has just been like- Hey, do this, do that, do this, do that. But we get a super wheel spin and a wheel spin and like some credits as well if we win this. I think we might also get a huge amount of XP. We'll have to see. I think this is going to be a really good way of getting money. Doing these seasonal events. This is going to be dope. Well, anyways, I know, I, know, I know some more of you guys wanted to see Edinburgh. There is never too much of Edinburgh to be seen. It looks awesome and amazing. I, I love this thing. It's it's so good. Those are those we uh, wait. What's this car look like on the inside? So this is all James Bond like wait Didn't he have an ejecto seat like I mean we've got air and stuff down there I can't really we would need to look at this car in Forza Vista to look at it properly. Oh, man It's so cool though. This feels very legit. Do we have one? Do we have a hole in our roof. Yes, we do you can see a little line Yes, you can see the box for the ejector seat. Is that little red button under the clock the ejector seat button? If so, that's amazing! Yeah, you can see the outline for the ejector seat. Please tell me that works. Those wheels are terrifying though. It is like, that is very scary. Oh, the castle is in the distance there. All right, so we get our first victory on pro. Like I said, that's all we need to do. So there's no point in, in doing any more than that. We get 20 points for that. This is a proper championship. So we got championship points here. All right, we do our we do our freestyle dance. I'm digging it boys. So the next two races There's one all the way over here and one all the way down there. Okay, let's bang them out Someone just called me said there's a classic car abandoned in a barn near here and then hung up weird, right? Does this kind of thing happen often at horizon? <laughs> Thank you, Jay. So street scene Highland charge Let's see what we got. Oh shit Skyfall. Wait, was it called Skyfall last time? Why are the rims glitchy? I, I, I thought they were, they were supposed to be doing that. They have their Bodicer wheel attachments. 
how else are you gonna chop off, chop off the leg of all the passerbys? Anyways, this is like a street race. Okay, let's go. We've already got a pretty significant lead on the AI. Holy shit, these flares. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Where are we going? The DB5, it does not have a good balance. It's not a great car to drive. The, the suspension is so sloppy, and these tires are just awful. Looks like Storm Island. I know, right? It's actually so crazy what this world can become. So, I, 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 I know I spoke about it in one of the first episodes of the Let's Play, but... When you hear, oh, seasons change everything, your first instinct is to go like, yeah, but no, right? It's like, how much will they really change? And then you play it, and you see things like this, and then you play in other seasons. It's like, okay, yeah, they changed a lot. I get it now. And they did something with the lighting. It's, it's very cool. All right, let's go, let's go. Whoa, whoa, AI everywhere, whoa! Oh my god, the AI is crashing like crazy. We gotta make sure to maintain our lead for this championship, or, uh, or we're gonna be a bit screwed. Okay, watch out for the wall. The wall slows you down if you crash into it. Cut off the forward, finish line, and across. Stressful race. Okay, so how many points are we getting for that? That didn't go super well. We're getting some good money. 14 grand from that still. Watch the rims. The rims spin. They're Bodicere wheel attachments. Wait. Was that not part of the championship? I was sure that was part of the champ- Okay, well, turns out we're heading up there as well now. Final race. So that's the bridge everyone's talking about. Apparently it's in Harry Potter and a bunch of films and stuff. I knew it was famous, but I didn't know it's been in a bunch of stuff. I would imagine to include that bridge in a game like this, you would have to pay a lot of money because that's a, it's a big landmark, right? We're against all the DB5s again. So I assume it's for championship points. We already won the first race, that's fine. Oh, we're going off-road, I wasn't expecting this, sorry, bro. Oh man, look at the twisties coming up on this circuit. We're already at 23%, but look at the switchbacks. This is what you call a rally course. Oh my god. Boys, this is one of the craziest races I've seen. I haven't seen a race like this. This is my first time driving this road. I need a Subaru now. You have a barn find Subaru. I do, I could use, I could, I could use that 22B we found before. If I finish here, I'm not winning this championship. This is a proper rally stage. Oh my god. Let's go, we're flying. Holy shit, get on the brakes. I mean, hey, it's already a win. I got the James Bond car, but that's not enough. I am pushing so hard. AI, brake. AI needs to brake. No. No. Eighth place is not gonna cut it. They're so fast. They are so fast. I'm, I can't do anything. Uh, there's legitimately nothing I can do. I felt like I was driving quite well there. I didn't have like any huge crashes. It's not like I was in every single wall. The AI was just insane. I get five championship points. I finish second. Skyfall complete. I get an achievement. Well seasoned. What? Place for- Wait, what? I get five- uh, apparently I'm getting the rewards regardless? Yo, look at that. I get 15k credits. Really, really bad influence from that. 3,000 influence. That's really bad. I'm about to level up again, but for some reason, I got a super wheel spin and a wheel spin for that. I don't know why they gave me the win. All right, we're gonna end this with a super wheel spin. They've been going well recently. Let's keep the luck in the right direction. We get a Ford Bronco. We're not OJ Simpson. We get a... Oh. 